So we talked about the engineering design model, the, the way that the students kind of progress through the curriculum. Mm -hmm. uh, how would they go about documenting their progress? So we have um, a design brief, and the design brief is like a workable document okay. that's used in real world applications. So engineers um, are searching out a problem that a government might need or a business might need. They solve that problem and that problem is documented somehow. And that's a brief that's being handed to them saying, hey, this is how we're going to solve that problem. Right. A business could receive a bunch of these briefs. So that business is essentially is the teacher. Okay. And the students are creating their briefs to hand to the teacher, here are my solution to the problem. Oh, cool. And it's documented in a nice way. So from kindergarten all the way up to high school, mm -hmm. we have a design brief that grows upon each grade level. Okay. And it's not more work. We're, we're changing the questions up to get more out of the student. Right. Um, like we said, we're, we care more about them understanding the process rather than the final outcome of the product. Right. So as they go through the engineering design model, there's a research stage, there's a design stage, there's the create, and there's the test stage. Right. And each one of those, uh, in the design brief, it'll have it all laid out, graphically organized for them, where this, it's gonna ask them guided questions to help them along this process. So in the research, there'll be research-specific questions that help them at okay. that stage. Yeah. Design, create, all the way to testing your product. All right. the, the biggest thing is that it's, it's helping them. It, it's almost like a portfolio. Right. So ideally, for my goal as, my, as a teacher, I'm, gonna, I'm hoping that my students create four to five design briefs for the whole entire year of problems that they've created and showing their work on how they yeah, solve Yeah, kind of a way to evaluate their, their progress. Right, so these design briefs um, are done by the students and if you're in middle school curriculum, they're all online, Okay. which makes it really nice. Yeah. Because when in the research stage, they can look at a past product that they're, they're trying to either enhance or, or, or uh, work off of they can use that YouTube video or that resource and they can apply it right there so the teacher when receiving the design briefs can see it right there. They can see the student's process, their thought process as they go through this problem. It's, yeah. it's, it's very cool. Um, the teacher simply is, is like the investor, boss. They're looking at it, they're seeing how they do it and they can create it based on get feedback on it. That's all in the teacher hangar. So the students, you know, they're not going to work for a whole three, four weeks on this and be done. Yeah. They'll be able to get feedback from the teacher and be able to grow upon each design. Right. Nice.